In today's video, I'll be showing you guys every single working and useful glitches for Minecraft Bedrock. And guys, all of these glitches will work in the latest edition of Minecraft Bedrock being 1.20.1 and will of course work on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms including MCPE, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and Windows 10 edition. And guys, if you're playing on single player, every single one of these glitches should work for you guys. But if you're looking for glitches for realms or multiplayer, there will be some special glitches shown in the second half of the video for you guys. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight to it. This video is sponsored by Awesome. Awesome is a remote control software which allows you to access everything on your computer or laptop directly on your phone. Yes, this means that you can finally play your PC games on your phone. And to do this, all you have to do is download Awesome on your PC from the Awesome website. Links in the description, of course. Then all you have to do is download the Awesome app on your phone. The Awesome app is available on Android, iOS, and Windows. And did I mention all of this is free? Just with the base version of the app, you can remotely control your PC with your phone. Plus, you can transfer files between them without a hitch. And finally, if you want, you can even screen mirror your phone directly onto your PC screen. But with the super affordable premium options, you can effortlessly play any of your favorite PC games all from the comfort of your phone. Now you can finally play Minecraft Java on your phone just like that. Plus, you can even edit the device controls to fit your specific needs. I personally love checking up on my AFK farms while I'm away, so I love to to use the remote gaming feature, which also actually has support up to 144 FPS. And apart from their software, Awesome also makes amazing smart plugs, which lets you remotely turn on and off your devices, set up timers, and finally it even allows you to track your wattage. All the links are in the description below and the first 200 people to sign up using the code on screen right now will get a 7 day free trial to experience the full premium version of Awesome. Thanks to Awesome for sponsoring this video. And before we get into any of these glitches, here are some tips to follow. Tip number one, if any of these glitches just does not work on the first try, just repeat them a couple times while also changing up the timing ever so little every time. So basically play around with the timing until it works as every world is different. And tip number two is to make a copy of your world. To do that, press escape and then save and quit. And now that you're in the main menu, press this little pen icon next to the world that you're duplicating in. And in here, scroll all the way down until you see copy world, go ahead and press that. Once you're done, you should have a copy of your world. You can go ahead and open up your world and we can continue on with all the glitches. First, we have duplication glitch number one. For this one, all you'll need is a chest and up to 10 blocks of dirt. And obviously, you also need the items that you guys want to duplicate. You can duplicate every single item in the game, and you can also duplicate entire shocker boxes at a time. So you guys can load up as many shocker boxes as you want and duplicate those as well. Once you guys have all of the materials listed before, grab your chest and then go ahead and place down your dirt next to our chest like this. And guys, the amount of dirt you'll need to place down next to your chest depends on which platform you're playing on. So just follow the graphic on screen and use the recommended amount of dirt for your game. Once you place down all your dirt, press escape and then save and quit. Then you're going to want to open up your world again. And as soon as it loads in, go to your chest and place in all the items that you want to duplicate. Once you're done with that, break all of these dirt blocks. And as soon as you've broken that, break the chest right here. And as soon as the chest breaks, you guys are going to want to force quit out the game like this. Now you can open up your game again. And guys, for all of these glitches, just make sure that you force quit out the game and not save and quit. Once your game loads, you can go back into your game. And as soon as it loads, as you guys can see, we have the items in our hotbar. And if you open up the chest, boom, we have all of the duplicated items as well. And an easy way to tell that it worked is when you guys spawn in, you should have the items in your hotbar and there should also be some dirt laying around like this. And now for duplication glitch number two. To do this one, you'll need a chest, 16 blocks of your choice, a water bucket, and three signs of any kind. And of course, the items that you guys want to duplicate, which can also be packed into shocker boxes. So go ahead and grab all of these. Once you guys have grabbed all of the items, grab your blocks and then place three in a row like this, skip a block and then place two like so. Now you're going to want to make both of these three blocks high in total. Once you've done that, place the last block right here. Now grab your chest and then place it under there like so. Now you can grab your signs and then place them along this wall. Then for the last step, you're going to want to place your water bucket up here. Once you've built this little contraption, you're going to want to press escape and then save and quit to the main menu. Once you've done that, you can open up your world. And as soon as the world opens up, open up the chest and place in all the items you want to duplicate and then step into the water stream. And in here, you're going to want to wait for all of the bubbles to disappear. And once that's done, you're going to want to take anywhere between three to six hearts of damage. But for me, I find four to be the best amount. Once that happens, you're going to want to force quit out the game like before. Now you can reopen your Minecraft. And again, you can just open up your world if you did everything correctly, you should spawn outside of the contraption with the items in your hotbar. And if you open up the chest, boom, we have all of the items duplicated. 
Now for duplication glitch number three. This one is super simple. All you need to do this one is a chest and a water bucket. And of course the items you want to duplicate. In this case, I'm using some armor trims, but, you, but obviously you can use any items you want. To do this glitch, you guys are going to want to knock out a two by two hole on the ground like this, and then go ahead and make it two blocks deep in these three blocks. So that should mean there's a solid block right there and the rest are a two block hole. Then grab your chest and then place it on top of this block right there. And then finally put your water bucket on the opposite corner. And once you're done building this, you're going to want to press escape and then save and quit. Then open up your world again. And as soon as the world opens, open up your chest and place in all the items you want to duplicate and then step into the water. And guys, again, you're going to want to wait until all the bubbles run out and you take anywhere between three to six hearts of damage. But for me, four works best. And once you've saved and quit, you can open up Minecraft again. And you can open up your world as well. And again, if you did everything correctly, you should have the items in your hotbar. And boom, if you open up the chest, we have all of the duplicated items. Now for a way to get infinite XP. So to do this, you'll need a couple bottle of enchantings. You don't need this many, but you can always start off with a couple and then work your way up. And if you guys don't have any bottle of enchantings, you can either trade for them or easily find them in some pillager outposts. And to do the second method, you'll need any enchanted items and a grindstone as well. So how this works is once you guys have a preferred method, either the enchanted items method or the bottle of enchanting method, you can go ahead and choose any of the three duplication methods mentioned in this video and just duplicate either your bottle of enchantings or the enchanted armor. If you chose the Balo enchanting method, you can just go ahead and use them up like this, and that should give you all of the XP you need. But if you guys chose the enchanted items method, all you'll need is a grindstone. So go ahead and place that down. And like the Balo enchanting method, you're just going to want to duplicate these items as many times as you want. And once you have a lot of them, all you guys have to do is come over here to the grindstone and then put them in and then take them out. And that should give you guys all of the XP you need. And guys, the more the enchantments on the item that you're disenchanting, the more XP you'll get. And those were all the single player only glitches. Now we can move on to the glitches that will work on realms and single player. This first glitch will be super useful for those of you who like exploring, and that is the X-ray glitch. To do this glitch, all you'll need is a solid block, a piston, a lever, a slab of any kind, a top snow, which you can craft with snowballs, and optionally to increase the visibility, a spyglass and a potion of night vision are recommended. So yeah, go ahead and grab all these materials. And once you have everything, just go to the spot where you want to X-ray. And guys, it does not have to be on top like I'm doing here. You can always do it inside caves to see deeper. But yeah, I'm just gonna do it up here for now. So all you guys have to do is dig down by two blocks, grab your slab and then place it like so. Then break these two blocks in front of you and then place a piston facing yourself with a solid block on its face like this. Now grab your lever and then place it on top of the piston. Now this is when you're going to want to splash yourself with your night vision potion. Afterwards you can flick this lever. Then finally all you have to do is place a layer of top snow on top like this. And boom you can see everything. And as you guys can see right there there's already a dungeon and even a massive cave system down there. And yeah if you find something interesting you can always just dig towards it until you see it. Plus if there's any exposed ores you can see it like this coal block over here and if you're looking deeper down you can easily find diamonds as well and for the second glitch, we have the easy gravity block duper. And to build this one, you'll need some drip leaf, some levers, and of course, the gravity block you want to duplicate. So guys, if you don't know what gravity blocks are, that is any block that can fall like sand, concrete, dragon eggs, anvils, and so on. And obviously, if it's concrete, you can duplicate any color of concrete you want. And all you have to do is just grab these materials. And if you guys don't have the drip leaves that I have right here, you can easily find them in lush caves or you can get them by trading with wandering villagers. But yeah, to do this glitch, just place down a couple drip leaves like I'm doing right now. Then all you have to do is place levers right here. They just have to be right next to our leaves and then go ahead and activate our levers. Then all you have to do is place the gravity blocks on top like this. And as you guys can see, they're already shaking up and down. So once you guys have this set up on your realms, it's pretty simple. Once everything is shaking like this, all you have to do is press escape and then save and quit back to your main menu. And if you're doing this on your realm, just wait about 10 to 30 seconds and then join back your world. And yeah, as soon as you load in, boom, we already have some extra animals right here. And if you just walk by you can get the rest like this and if you guys want to repeat it all you have to do is press escape and then return back to the menu and again if you're doing this on realms just wait about a minute and then go back in and boom we have some more items so this time it actually broke but it's still duplicated so all you have to do is just place it down and then repeat and next up, we have the full scale gravity block duplication glitch. For this one, you'll need about half a stack of any solid block, a water bucket, and obviously the gravity blocks you want to duplicate. And if you guys actually want to duplicate concrete, you'll need four extra string and a couple ender pearls are recommended so you can easily access our stuff. But yeah, go ahead and grab all these materials. And yeah, once you have everything, you're going to want to make your way through the end. And now that you're here, you're going to want to first make sure that you've defeated the ender dragon. Once you've done that, you should have this little portal pop up. And now all you have to do is grab your solid block and then place one right here and then go 
go ahead and place two more on either side like this, then place one more block right here, then follow it up by three more along each side, with one more in the center like this. Now place a temporary block right here, then go outwards by one more block, then you can get rid of this temporary block. Now you're just going to want to build a wall all the way around, like this, and repeat that for both sides. Once you're done, you should look at it like this. Now grab your water bucket and then place it on the corner. And if you guys are not looking to duplicate concrete, that's it. Just grab your items and place it right here. And boom, if it worked, as you guys just saw, the beam just flashed like that, meaning that we have one block right here and one more on the other side. So all you have to do is just repeat this as many times as you want. And for those who want to do concrete, grab your string and then place two on the bedrock right there and then two more right here. Then you can go ahead and just repeat the same step with your concrete blocks. And that should do the trick. And to show you guys it actually works in my inventory right now, I only have one of each of the items that we duplicated. Now to see our loot, all you have to do is teleport to the other side. Now in my inventory, I have three anvils, three dragon eggs, five concrete powder, and some more right here. And now for the fourth glitch, we have one of the most OP multiplayer glitches, and this is the all item dupe. To do this one, you'll need a chest, a sticky piston, around a stack of solid blocks, up to a stack of ladders, around a stack of leaves, a water bucket, and one lever. And I recommend that you guys bring a bed with you to do this glitch, as I'll explain later. And obviously, you also need the item that you guys want to duplicate. And guys, not only can you duplicate single items like these diamonds over here, but you can also duplicate entire shulker boxes like the ones you see right here. So you can load up these shulker boxes with any items you want, and you can duplicate up to a hot bar of them at a time. So yeah, go ahead and grab all these materials. And to do this glitch, you'll need access to the end portal. And once you guys are near, I recommend that you guys place a bed and set your spawn right there so that we have easy access to the end portal. Once you've done that, make your way to the end. And again, just make sure that you've killed the ender dragon. Once that's all cleared up, just make your way to the end of the end island, like somewhere over here, and grab your solid blocks. And now you're just going to want to go out by about 10 to 20 blocks and just go out until you see nothing but the void directly under you. So I've gone out by a couple blocks and there's nothing under me. Now just grab your water bucket and place it on the end right here. Wait for it to flow down a bit and grab your solid blocks and jump in. And while in this stream, you're going to want to place solid blocks all the way down here until you're standing on Y level 12. So yeah, just use this water stream and place blocks. And now that you're at Y level 12, grab your ladders and then place them up here. And as you guys can see, that should make a little area right here without water. So just make your way all the way up, placing ladders. And once you're at the top, use your bucket to grab this water up again. Now you can slowly make your way back down to our little area. And then now that you're here, just make this platform a bit bigger for ease of use. This is when you're going to want to grab your leaf block and now just go ahead and place some on the side like this and then go out by about 16 to 32 blocks so as you can see i place about 25 blocks and once you've done that just make your way back to our cobblestone area and then press escape and go into your setting and in here scroll down until you see video settings and click that then on the right side scroll all the way down until you see fancy leaves go ahead and switch this toggle off now you can press escape and make your way back to the game and in here you're going to want to update our leaves to do that just place a solid block right here then boom these are the old leaves now all you're going to want to do is walk across our leaf area right here until boom you should see a section like this which on one side we have the old leaf texture and on the other we have the new one and now just go ahead and mark that by placing two blocks like this now we're going to want to get rid of our leaf blocks that we've placed down and then just connect up our cobblestone bridge and guys i've replaced the cobblestone blocks with these two blocks so you can see the border in between and guys between these two blocks there's actually a chunk border that's why we saw the two different textures of leaves so yeah on this side we have one chunk and on the other we have a new chunk and now to do the glitch on this block right here you're going to want to place a piston and now go ahead and place a chest right here and this is basically the last block on this chunk then go ahead and place a lever right next to our piston then go ahead and flick this lever and that should push our chest into the new chunk and now that we're here you're going to want to break this block as well and make sure that there's no other block in this chunk except our chest so yeah just look around and make sure there's nothing it should just be the void and if so we can move on to the next step and guys before we continue on you can actually turn your fancy leaves back on as we don't need it anymore but yeah now the next step is to open up our chest and then place in all the items that you guys want to duplicate. Then, once you're done with that, press escape and save and quit. And guys, if you're doing this on realms, you have to wait anywhere between 3 to 5 minutes before opening up our world again and continue on. But if you're doing this on single player world, I recommend waiting about 30 seconds before rejoining. But yeah, once the correct amount of time has passed, go ahead and open up your world again. And as soon as it loads, go ahead and flick this lever, make your way back up the ladder, and then through the end portal back to the overworld. 
And now that you're here, press escape and save and quit. And again, you're going to want to wait anywhere between three to five minutes before re-entering your world if you're playing on realms. But if you're doing this on a single player world, you can rejoin after 30 seconds. And again, once the correct amount of time has passed, go ahead and open up your world. And now to see if the glitch has worked, go through the end portal and then make your way down. And boom, if you guys did everything correctly, you should see that there are two chests instead of one. And if you go ahead and open them up, you should see that they've duplicated. So yeah, the original chest right here is filled with all of the items that we've put in. And the second one over here is also loaded up with the exact same items. And as you guys can see, even the shulker boxes that we've duplicated are also filled with all the items. And that's the all item duplication glitch. And yeah, that's it. Those were every single one of the useful glitches in Minecraft Bedrock.